Hey, uh, it's a little pain by Margot Price. We're going to interpret uh, the organ solo, and I just transcribed it for a student, so I'm having a hard time remembering the whole thing. So I'm going to play the last lick first. The outro lick is just straight up blue scale, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Playing that pretty poorly, but here we go. Um, starting at the 14th fret of the G string. And hammering on to the 15th, uh, then to the 12th fret of the G string. All just, you could play it all as, uh, all slurs. And then I pick it again on the D string. You could pick this here too. And then as we go from, sure pick that one. The trickiest maneuver I think is getting from the 10th fret of the A string to the 10th fret of the E string. Just have to be positioned right. Okay, so that's the end of the solo. So it starts like uh, 16th of the G and 15th of the B, a little double stop, and then slide from the 14th to the 16th of the G and then a hint of what's coming what's to come at the end so 14 15 14 12 on the G 14 on the D 14 on the G back to the D 12 on the G hammer on ugh, to the G Then a similar sound, similar double stop, minor third. Uh, 17th on the B and then uh, 15th on the high E. And then a series of double stops. Uh, so that's 16 and 17 on the G and B, 14 and 15 on the G and B. 14 on the G and B, 12 on the G and B, 14 on the D and G, 12 on the D and G, going back and forth there. And then back down to the 11th, slide down to the 10th, uh, and then on the 10th of the A string. And then a little response lick. And then the... Now that descending double stops, if you were really crafty, and of course I just learned this, so I'm not, but. I don't think I quite got all the two hand organ thing here, but you hear this and you could do it on the low E string. I have the rhythm quite right on that too, but you get the point, and if you play along with the record, you'll get it. Have fun.